to the real issue, which is where, where does anxiety come from? It comes from the heart. And so when the Lord points that out, what he's doing is saying this is a heart issue just like anything that we face in this life. Anxious, that's, that's that word, careful. And then the, the result of, of that is being troubled by many things. In turbulence, that's, that's actually the word here. It's, it's got you disquieted in your mind. You remember the parable of the sower and the seed where some of the seed fell on by the wayside and some fell on hard ground. The birds came and took it away. Some fell among thorns and the thorns are described as the cares of the world that, that choke out the word and then some fell on fertile ground and brought forth fruit. You know, here again, the mule, you know, how many times you've heard that preach? The first three, that's an unconverted person. And the fourth one, that's, that's one that's converted. Well, guess what? Even as a child of God regenerated, I still have trouble with the birds coming and taking the seed away, don't you? I mean, that's not describing one kind of heart. It's describing the the heart. It's describing the, the soil. It's, it's describing what would be our case were it not for the Lord blessing any seed that's sown. The, the thorns that choke it out, the sun, the opposition that, that takes away the seed and how quickly it happens. Why? Because of the heart. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Scripture says, keep the heart, for out of it are the issues of life. You know, that's the one thing that troubles me the most with all of the preparation. Come here and stand before you and preaching the glories of Christ. I know as soon as we close this meeting, there's going to be something that the Lord's going to send to remind me just how evil and wicked this heart is. And I'm going to be encumbered and troubled to where I can't even think about. If you were to call me up and ask me, well, what was that message you preached? What was it? How was it you put that? I'm, I'm thinking I can't even tell you right now. If the Lord doesn't keep us by his grace, we would, we would go the way of all flesh. And so that's the point here with Martha, you know. If any of us come away thinking, well, here, I'm a Mary or I'm a Martha. No, we're all of them. If the Lord is pleased to grant us that, that peace to even for a moment to sit at his feet and to drink in his word, that's a grace. That's a grace. I'm sure as we read on.